Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Near Pink Hill, North Carolina, just off Highway 11, sits a perfect example of a small family owned strawberry business. Take it one way down. Harold Smith and his wife Deb are growing berries just like Harold's parents did in the 1980s. Their strawberry patch is the apple of the Smith family eye. Do you do this because you want to or because you need to? Absolutely, because I want to. You know, we, we love the strawberry business and uh, we like the people that come by and see us every day. Would you rather be on a tractor or out here working in the crops or would you rather be behind the counter running a cash register? I'd rather be in the strawberry patch in that store. The family farm covers hundreds of acres of livestock and row crops, but there's something about that one acre of strawberries uh, that makes tending it not such a chore. You got all the big ones you need on stage? Yeah, I got all the big ones. What do you get when you wish to grow strawberries and sell them? You get a lot of fun, you get a lot of work, and you see a lot of people. Lucille Smith is Harold's mother. She was the family farm's bookkeeper for 60 years, but went legally blind a few years ago. That's when she put down her ink pen and picked up her knife. Lucille slices strawberries, using little more than her touch and confidence those fingers won't misguide the blade. I got my 75-year-old rocking chair in there, and they gave me a new pad this year. So I sit there and rock and cap strawberry. Lucille slicing helps Harold make his prized strawberry ice cream. We tried to keep him focused on discussing strawberries, but Harold wanted to talk about his ice cream. I like to see those kids' faces come in that store in the morning and want ice cream and strawberries. Uh, they come running up to me, Mr. Harold, I love you and your ice cream. I mean, it's worth all of it. You would be surprised at the people that's eating ice cream. People we hadn't seen in years are coming after ice cream. How many you need on your truck, Uncle Stace? Harold says it's time to start winding down his farming career. He'll make an exception for his strawberry patch. Harold has retired so many times from so many jobs. This is just another one. He says this one's it. I doubt it. He's got fishing and hunting to do. And Deb and I have to go look for him. And he likes to fish. And he loves to hunt. But you have a thriving business here. So. He can talk. He's a big mouth, but I love him to death. He's your baby boy. He's my baby boy. Lucille might be on to something because her brother and Harold's uncle, Stacy, is a retired farmer who is not retired. He runs strawberry deliveries these days. Stacy says he's repaying Harold and Deb for helping him when he lost his wife. When my wife was sick, he done, they done a lot for me. And is this returning the favor for yes, this some money. of those yes. times? Yes, sir. This one ready? How will you know when they've been repaid? I won't. I can't repay them. You want strawberry or vanilla? And then there's Harold and Deb's daughter, Sheely. There are boys in the family, but it's the girl who says farming's in her blood. Do you feel any pressure on you because dad and mom think you're going to be the one that takes over the farm? Uh, no, not at all. It's kind of a surprise, I think, to them that I actually, you know, decided to go into this field. It's kind of funny because <laughs> they, they thought I would be the last one, you know, to, to ever, you know, want to continue the tradition or anything. Hopefully she'll be able to take over. It seems to be the only farmer we made. Uh, or descendant, you know, that we made um, that's enjoying the farming life. I told her she couldn't change this time. This was it. She could not make up her mind what she wanted to do, but she's in there now. <laughs> it, it does get you, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And we'll get a stick if it don't, she, she don't work. Strawberries aren't in season very long in North Carolina. When they are, you'll find they have a way of inspiring us to take trips down country roads while teaching us that a little red berry can be a most valuable treasure.